So hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving the problem power of 2 so let's read the problem statement out so we are given a non negative integer n the task is to check if n is a power of 2 more formally check if n can be ex expressed as 2 to the power x for some integer x so let's say if n is equal to 8 we know like 8 is nothing but 2 to the power 3 so n can be expressed in the form of 2 to the power x for some integer x right so we will be returning a true in this case so if you take the example as n equal to 98 we cannot express n equal to 98 in the form of 2 to the power x right so we will return a false now the expected time complexity for this is going to be order of log n so i hope you have understood the problem statement basically we need to check whether n can be expressed as 2 to the power x okay so let's discuss the problem in more detail so let's say if i am having n is equal to 8 right the brute force way can be just keep on dividing 8 by 2 while my n is greater than 1 okay so let's say if i divide 8 by 2 i get 4 right again divide this 4 by 2 we get a 2 and again divide this 2 by 2 you get a 1 and then you can check whether my n is going to be 1 or not okay and at each of the step you can check whether n is divisible by 2 or not then only we will divide otherwise we can break out of the loop okay so how can we write that brute force approach while n is greater than 1 if n is divisible by 2 we can simply divide n by 2 right and in the end we just need to check n is equal to 1 or not okay but in the problem you see the constraint for n is this and can be up to 10 to the power 18 okay so if we do this step each and every time that will not so solve the purpose so we can optimize it so one thing you can observe for this type of scenarios we can always think of bit masking so how can we do that so let's say if you express any power of 2 let's say 8 so i know 8 can be expressed as 1 triple 0 right so this indicates 2 to the power 0 this indicates 2 to the power 1 this indicates 2 to the power 2 and this indicates 2 to the power 3 so 1 into 2 to the power 3 is going to be 8 right so 8 can be expressed in the bits format in this way now let's see how 7 can be expressed so 7 can be expressed by this right so what we can do if we do a and for both of them so 0 and 1 is going to be 0 0 and 1 again going to be 0 0 and 1 again going to be 0 and 1 and 0 is going to be 0 okay so what we observed if we do a and with 7 right here we are getting a 0 why we did the and with 7 because you know for any of the numbers like 7 or 15 okay they are all ones at each of the bits basically if you express 15 this is going to be this okay 8 plus 4 12 plus 2 14 plus 1 15 and 16 agar hame likhna hota so then what we do we do this okay we basically take one to one step forward and all these are replaced by zeros now if we do a and with 15 we get a zero right so that is going to be the solution for this basically if n is a power of 2 right if n is any number which can be expressed in the power of 2 the and with n minus 1 is going to be zero right but there exists exception this will not work if n is equal to 0 okay so in case we are having n is equal to 0 we can simply return a 0 because we know 0 cannot be expressed in the power of 2 right and according to our constraints n can be 0 up also now the time complexity for this is going to be log of n why because we are just taking the bits and the space complexity is going to be nothing but order of one only right 
so that is the solution for this guys so i hope you have understood the explanation let's see the implementation so basically here and if n is equal to 0 we can simply return a 0 that is our corner case otherwise we can do a and with n minus 1 and we can return a 0 right so that is going to be the property for power of 2 and i hope you have understood it if you have any doubts write it down in the comments do like this video if you have understood share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching guys